Good afternoon and welcome to the channel. Welcome back. Today is a day that you all have been waiting for for a very long time. But before we talk about the new place, we have to talk about the old place. We have to go back to where it all began. Just like that, here we are in the old garage. And it's pretty crazy to think, um, you know, the reason why I say this is where it all started, let's get some more light on the subject, is because this is of course where I made my first ever YouTube video about two years ago. And I had no idea how much my life was gonna change. Not that, you know, it changed after that one video. It took a while, but I just had no idea what was gonna happen, of course. Now, some of the little details in here, I have this carpet up because when I parked my Corvette, my Corvette always went on this side. So when I opened the door to get in and out, in case I ever opened it a little bit too hard, it would hit this instead of the, um, you know, instead of the wall. I think I'm gonna leave this here, not because it's like, I did Gorilla Glue it, but I think I could, yeah, easily get it out, but I just, that's pretty fucked up actually, so we're gonna go ahead. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and just pretend like that's, that's totally fine. So I'm gonna leave that there. Everything else is taken out, except for, you can see the chalk still on the wall. Um, and this I'm leaving because I don't really have a way to get this out, it's nailed in. And I left, or I, or I took rather, my tools over to the new place, I have no way to remove this. So whoever sent me that, it's gonna stay here forever. Which by the way, if you wanted to move into the Street Speed 717 house, it is unfortunately spoken for already. So it is not available. Um, somebody will be moving in here very shortly. But let's go ahead and go inside because you guys always saw me either start the vlog like right here. Usually this is where I would start, right here. And the reason for that is because, you know, I would wake up, get dressed, brush my teeth, do all that bullshit, and then I would grab my camera and start walking out the door. And of course, by the time the GoPro, there's always like a three or four second delay between when you turn on the GoPro to when it's ready to record. So by the time it was recording, I would always be like right here or you know somewhere around here. I'd either be right in the hallway or opening the door. We all are about to see what it was like for me coming home every day. So you come through the door, of course, and we have the laundry is right in here by the way, in case you wanted to know where I did my laundry. Not really anything special. There is a fire extinguisher though, in case you start a dryer fire, which happened by the way, in this community two times in the three years that I lived here, believe it or not. People are just fucking retarded. Then you walk in here and this was the main living area. Now I used to do some mail times here. My couch was along that wall and I had a coffee table. I would set up the tripod right here and then I would film mail time. So some of you, if you've been with the channel for a while, if you're a real subscriber, you have seen this area before, but I did have a deck in this apartment, which I loved a lot, by the way. This was always really nice how, um, even though it was an apartment, it was very private. Like I could come out here and, you know, there's just no noise or anything like that. It's really nice. There's always deer walking around back there. So I would say pretty peaceful is the word I'm looking for. It was nice uh, here in the backyard. This is where I walked to the bulls most of the time. I walked them out front sometimes, but Back here was nice because I could let them off leash, didn't have to worry about any other dogs. And I don't know whose ball that is. Coming back in the house, not a whole lot to see. Uh, we did have a fireplace. This is all my Verizon shit that's gonna stay here. It has to be returned to them. Um, they wanted me to ship it back, but I was like, if you want it, come and get it. I'm not doing shit to send it back. We have a box of mail, mostly a junk mail. We have the mailbox key for this place, something to do with the lease agreement, I don't know. And the house key for this place on a little dog collar. We have the guest bathroom i know now it's getting interesting we got the guest bathroom there you go and the front door which i didn't use too much i uh usually used oh it's locked i usually used uh the garage to come in and out but sometimes i did film once again some vlogs did have me walking the bulldogs out here bringing them back in and whatnot but i didn't really use oh we got the, the dirty max out there didn't use the front door too much and something that many of you i'm sure didn't know is i do have a downstairs um, in my apartment, well, what used to be mine. Most of the living was done up there, but I did have a downstairs, which pretty much became a storage area. Now, the reason why I had all this space was to have the two-car garage. I wanted a two-car garage, but you can't have one unless you get a three-bedroom unit, so this is what I had. And I actually spray-painted truck parts in here, so I wasn't, wasn't a very good tenant. Anyway, um, this is the back door, and this is, I guess, broken. That's that, we have a storage unit, or it's not a storage unit, storage room and everything back there under the steps. That's where I kept all my drugs. Um, little room here with the water heater and all that bullshit. And two guest bedrooms here. I mean, these were big places, really designed for a family, not two people and two bulldogs, but 
Each bedroom has a window to the back. See this one over here as well. Now this room was used as my Z06 and Duramax stock parts storage facility. I had all the stock parts for my car and truck in here. Now they are being stored over at the new place, as you would expect. And a lot of the parts are actually at Andy's. You know, it is somewhat hard to say goodbye. This is the first place I had on my own. Um, when I moved out of my mom's house, I was 18, I moved in with a friend of mine and we moved actually right down the street, like 40 yards that way. And we had a little two bedroom unit together. And then after about a year and a half of living there, I moved out and got my own place and I've been here ever since until just the other day. Here we have the kitchen. Uh, this fridge is absolutely beat to shit. I got it off of Craigslist for 20 bucks and it works. I just used stickers to cover up all the, there's actually a huge hole right there. My dick's out for Harambe sticker, a GoPro sticker. Um, and then this is the fridge that came with the place. You got the stove. This is a real nice window as well. Really good views here when you're making food and all that good stuff. We got the sink, the dishwasher, the kitchen, like everything else is very open and a lot of room. The kitchen is like a hallway, which is the only thing I really didn't like about this place. I felt like it was really narrow. And of course you have the pantry. And moving into the bedroom, this was where I slept every day. Now I did all my editing out there on the couch, sometimes here in the bedroom, but you know, this is about it. We got two closets, mine was on the left, Right here, girlfriend's was on the right, and the bathroom itself, nothing much more to see. It's kind of sad, you know, it really is. I mean, a lot of, a lot of memories in here, a lot of memories, a lot of life-changing events, but you gotta move on. We close the door on one place, and we start a new chapter. Okay, back at the new place, and I am not going to show a lot of the house for obvious security reasons, but I will show you something that I bet you didn't know, because this place right here, is the old house that the new house was built onto, and this is just the old auxiliary garage that I've been using. So let me show you the inside of where I actually live. Here we have the living room, the same couch that was in the old place. We have a bulldog here and a bulldog there. They live a pretty good life. This is where I do my editing. Matter of fact, we're doing a little editing right now for this video. This is my TV. We're watching, what are we watching? I think Fast 8, I believe. Fast and Furious 8, whatever it's called now. Um, by the way, my TV is 70 inches bigger than Parker's. Fuck you, Parker. Yep, it is in fact Fast and Furious 8. Very appropriate. This is the dining room. We have a world map that I made, by the way. The terrible towel, the Penn State lion, and of course this thing, you guys will remember, I think it's called a uh, Lichtenberg sign, if I'm calling it the right name that somebody made for me, which is really cool. This whole thing glows in the dark. And over here I have some hunting memorabilia from my grandfather and a Corvette poster, a Dirty Max poster as well hiding down there. And this is kind of like my office if I really needed one or I was going to make one. It's just kind of a storage room for my stuff. I have my Supercars on State Street trophy that I won. Second place, the number two wrap. I will forever be upset about that. My little map of Pennsylvania. This was a knife that my grandfather carried in World War II. His hats that he carried as well as a um, Kind of like a commemorative hat that he got after. That was his uh, ship number. And we got some more war stuff down here, old coins, this kind of stuff. And of course, something that I really love, hey buddy, um, is my YouTube plaque that I got when I hit 100,000 subscribers. And this is one of the things, I mean, it's such a, it's not even like a big deal anymore getting 100K, but I'm just super proud of this, always have been, and you are making it difficult to vlog. This yellow thing is a little Corvette uh, booklet you get. He makes so much noise that you get uh, when you buy one. It's the only thing you get. It comes with the color that you bought it in. I wish you got like a little model car if you custom build a Corvette, but it comes with a note from Tag Huchter himself, and then you get this little uh, booklet here that just shows information about how Corvettes are built and the factory and everything like that. Super cool Corvette stuff. This weather is just terrible. I wish it would make up its fucking mind. Actually, I don't wish that. I wish it would just get sunny, but I hope that you guys enjoyed that little tour of the house. Again, I'll show some more over time as I get things organized, but I have to call Nick. I was supposed to call him like an hour ago. So we got David Patterson. We got MVT Ryan, Ryan formerly of MVT. We got Bobby who is still with MVT. We have Parker from Vehicle Virgins. We have 
uh, Cletus McFartcan, Evan Shanks, and then we got Super Speeders Rob. Sorry about that. I had to call Nick to discuss the call out video that we're doing, Nick and in myself. It's about the track rental of Cecil County Dragway. Uh, we rented out the track. It's going to be happening in August. We're calling out a bunch of YouTubers and a bunch of subscribers. Stay tuned for more info. I'm going to finish up the video with a real quick mail time here. This package caught my eye. It is from Notch. Hey Mike, we're fans of the channel and thought you might like our hats at Notch. We make the world's greatest and most innovative hats. Our patented notches eliminate the interference between the brim of a baseball cap and sunglasses when they're worn together. Our technology makes our hats an optimal alternative for tactical operators, law enforcement, competitive shooters, runners, baseball players, fishermen, hunters, and many more people. I am not any of those things. Our hats are offered in various styles and colors and may be viewed at notchgear.com. Sincerely, Christian DeBoard Notch Marketing Team. We have the Notch hat. Oh, this is fucking dope. Look at this. It is like an operator hat. I'm gonna be super tactical when I wear this. Look at that, it's got the uh, Velcro strip for the flag. It's got the trucker style like mesh netting in the back. That is fucking cool. Now let's see if it works. Well, I'll be goddamned. It works. It's actually a really comfortable hat too. I will say that. So if you want something cool like this, check out Notch. Uh, not a sponsored video, but I do. I love the hat. Thank you so much. One more thing I want to show you because this video is not car related and I have to keep it about cars. The new mod for the Corvette came in and as you can see, it is the suede steering wheel. I cannot wait to get this on the car. Anyway, that is going to do it for this upload, but I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you are stopping in for the first time, please subscribe. Take care. Have a great day. Huge update. Huge. 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 Update on the Duramax coming soon that you guys are going to nut yourselves over, and it will be happening within the next week.